Recently, I worked on a project where I was trying to test whether or not the fans were working on a VW EOS 2009. And I find very few videos about the EOS, so I thought I'd post this with information that I found. Um, I, I wasn't sure. It, it appeared that the fans were not turning on like they should. However, after reconnecting it, I found that the fans did turn on as they should, or so I think. Um, I did attempt to replace the fan control module in this uh, EOS version 2009 um, USA model. This particular fan, um, the control module is in the back of the fan, and you'll notice, notice there are no um, screws or bolts holding it on. And I bought a replacement fan, which pretty much looks like this. Um, and this module has holes for bolts to attach it, but I couldn't take off the back of the fan. So um, for whatever it's worth, um, this is the, the part number uh, of this fan. It's 1K0. 959455DL. And uh, so if you wanted to get a replacement for this on eBay, you'd have to get the whole fan assembly. Uh, this particular control module alone is not good for this particular model. If you got a, if for the VW EOS, they do have a replacement fan that where the control fan control module can be removed. Um, but this particular, I think this is more of an original fan, and this one you cannot replace it. Um, the connector itself, basically, or the fan control module itself, looks similar. His is the, the uh, end connector for it. This connector is available at the bottom of the radiator. And I'll show you a video later. And it's got, basically has four... Uh, four wires coming to it. You have a green wire, little green wire. You got a big red wire, big brown wire. In the original uh, connector, this wire here, this big wire here is, I think it's red with black stripes, but here it happens to be brown in this connector. And on the other side, we have a uh, small, this is a small black wire. And basically, uh, that connector. I believe is called J293 in wiring diagrams. Uh, so basically, in the car, I, I previous to this, I've already tested out the the big wires coming to the in this connector. So the big red wire is. For power and the other big wire is the ground and uh, primarily what I was testing was I was more concerned about the small wires because the little green wire here where I have a hat pin pushed in the back of it uh, I'm testing its voltage so here I'm testing voltage and uh, so I have two multimeters and one multimeter it has uh, is attached here in red, or the red connector here. It's uh, connected to the. Basically, I'm testing the voltage on the green wire, and then I have another multimeter connected to a pin, and I'm testing the little brown wire or black wire. And so for the ground. Of the multimeters I've attached the ground to the bottom of the transmission so that's where I'm getting ground from for the two multimeters and I think it's actually safer to test the voltage than testing continuity because um, if you were to test continuity understand that the big red wire um, 
basically the big red wire on the connector primarily it always has it always has voltage so the big red wire here even when you turn the car off there's strong voltage so I'd be careful <laughs> in doing any continuity testing even when the car is turned off unless you actually disconnected the battery then that'd be okay this other wire here it's a big in this case it's a big red and black wire uh, red wire with black stripes this one here is ground so and like I said while I'm, I, I let the car warm up in idle mode for at least 10 minutes and it came up to operating temperature and one thing I found was um, when it was warm and here here's the two multimeters showing the values um, when the car was running and the car was warm and one thing I found was the multimeter on the right is showing the voltage of the little green wire and basically it fluctuates a lot um, you know but it it's it's voltage is somewhere around 1.15 1.16 volts when it's uh, when the engines warm but not super warm um, the other thing I, I did was I had a laser uh, temperature gauge and I tested the um, the bottom radiator hose and here this basically is the turbo air pipe for the turbo uh, charger and then here I'm finding the there's the lower radiator hose and I did use a laser temperature gauge to measure its temperature and I found um, the temperature kind of varied from about 150 degrees Fahrenheit up to about 175 or 170 degrees Fahrenheit when I was testing it with the laser uh, temperature gauge. I also used a product, so here I am testing it with the with the laser, I'm get, there I'm getting about 150 degrees Fahrenheit at this moment. Um, but basically, I found that when the engine was running, uh, probably the thermostat would open and close, and the uh, temperature, as I could measure it, it got up to about 170, and up at, at that point, um, the fans kicked on. And the fans came on not real strong but came on for about one minute and the engine cooled down and uh, so I used another product called OBD 11 which is an application you can download to an Android phone and to the iPhone um, you can buy the OBD 11 product for as cheap as hmm about a hundred dollars that's uh in other words you can buy it the old you can buy the uh android version of it for about 65 dollars on amazon and you could but you have to pay like another 30 dollars or so to get a license a, uh, a pro license so for the android you could get a combination of obd 11 uh, plus the pro license for close to 100 dollars the they have an iphone version of it for about $150. And I found using that product, I could test the temperatures. Uh, I could test the temperatures another way by going to uh, connecting to the car with OBD 11. Uh, and then I could go to engine. And I click on live data. And they happen to have a live data. Uh, they have like, if you scroll down, you'll see coolant temperatures. And it's a, the second one, the map, the coolant temperatures, MAP. And then the second one of that, there, I think there's like three maps, but the second one shows you the coolant temperature for the lower radiator hose. I think it's just called um, coolant temperature, which, and you have um, 
another one is the engine outlet temperature and then you have another one where it's specified which is a target and the target is always 203 degrees Fahrenheit uh, the coolant temperature many times was somewhere around uh, somewhere between 190 degrees Fahrenheit and 212 215 degrees Fahrenheit and the engine outlet temperature was usually a little bit higher which was around 209 degrees Fahrenheit something like that so when I measured the temperature using this laser uh, temperature probe on the lower radiator hose when it read 170 degrees Fahrenheit the OBD 11 app temperature showed that it was about 200 12 215 degrees Fahrenheit and then when the fans came on the on the in the OBD 11 the coolant temperature uh, dropped to 190 degrees Fahrenheit so that appears to be the range that it wants to keep the coolant temperature at somewhere between 190 degrees Fahrenheit and 212 215 degrees Fahrenheit something like that um, just wanted to share some of this information with you I know it's not a great video but um, the other thing that I noticed was that when I was running uh, the engine idling the engine and testing the the voltages basically uh, when the fans were not on the voltage got up as high as about it only got up to about 1.169, you know, and this is with a carb running. And like I said, I'll show you briefly. It I, it changes the value changes very quickly, but it rain it it's very somewhere around 100 1.15 volts, 1.16 volts, and when the fans kick in. The voltage changes on that little green wire it changes to about 1.80 so 1.80 volts there's in the obd 11 app there's also a little function there's a output test that you can execute you know, under the engine and when you the, the test is something like it's called something like um, coolant control one or something like that um when you execute that test, it basically uh, turns on the fans, both fans, and it within 15 seconds, it, it the fans start out at a slow speed and then increase uh, every second, very to the point that they get really loud to full speed. At full speed, the voltage on that little green wire gets up to eight volts. So that's full speed. So um, that little green wire can control the speed of the fans, both fans. So um, just I share this information with you since there's very few videos about the VW EOS 2009. It's a 2.0 T engine. It's a 2.0 liter engine, TSI. Okay.